Hey guys, I'm going to make this quick because I just don't have a huge amount of time. When I said I was going to start doing daily vlogging again, I absolutely meant it and I do still want to do that. The last few days haven't worked out though. I managed to record this the other day. Just got back from town and oh, the weather outside is not very good at all. Oh my goodness. But uh, I helped uh, recover the roof of my neighbour's car park this morning when it flew off in the wind. We've got a storm, it's coming over night over from Ireland and oh my goodness, kept us up most of the night. It's just been one of those days. So I'm, I'm kind of working on about three, maybe three and a half hours sleep at the moment, which is not great, but uh, cups of tea will keep me going. Like I said in yesterday's thing, uh, for two years I've been using a lot of my time that I wasn't working for the council, doing my council work. Uh, I've been working on this uh, legal thing with Jen. Uh, nothing too bad from our point of view. Uh, we, were, we were suing someone. And uh, it's just meant that it took up an awful lot of time, an awful lot of energy. And as a result, I haven't really had time to earn anything. I've been... Uh, living off savings and all sorts. So it's not great and hopefully this year means it'll be better because it's all over with. So in celebration of that, Jen gave me something rather nice and I have to say thank you very much, Jen. I do appreciate it. Let's have a look. Dot Hack Part 3 on PlayStation 2. Very, very nice condition. And all here with the uh, DVD and the game. So that's very nice. But that wasn't it because she also got me Dot Hack Part 4 on PlayStation 2. A little bit of a dint there, but I can live with that, not a problem. Would have been nice to have the manual, but it wasn't there. I can pick a manual up, but DVD and game are here. And they're the parts that are hard to get. If you don't get the DVD with the game, it's very, very difficult to get it afterward. So, we've just completed another set, and that's very nice. And then, over the last two days, all I've done is record and try and edit video for myself, for Jen, and things like that. I've got a 16-page Game Hammer script. I'm going to do it differently this time. All of the bits that are in green uh, pieces to come, I'm going to do them in one bit. Now I'm just going to sit and record all of the uh, other bits uh, afterward. I think it's the only way. I'm just, guys, I'm exhausted. I really am. So if I don't look right, then that's why. Hello and welcome to what should have been the last episode of Game Hammer for 2017. Although, oh my goodness, that was a long one. Even when. Ah, even when I had very little to say in front of the camera, it still took ages, right? I turn this off and we're going to get all of the paperwork that I've thrown everywhere sorted out so I can actually record the other bits, the uh, voiceovers. Let's do it. I'm choking. Uh, oh. There's a lot of uh, dust and I'm still recovering from, from the problems I've had, the illness and things like that, so... It's a little difficult to make this, to make this video, because there's a lot, a lot of talking. So let's keep going and hope that we'll get to the end. The game is bright, very nicely animated, and runs exceptionally well. This is a game that's a delight to play, and I don't mind recommending it. Look up Giga Bear, and I don't mind recommending it to anyone who's... And that's it. That's it. Done. Oh, my goodness. Right. Time to edit. I've been stopped by so many things, like phone calls or people saying, oh, can you come and do this? Can you come and do that? Can you come and do the other? And then today we've had two major problems. There's a problem with the roof, which is causing uh, damp to get in and rain, which is not good when we just had a storm. And we found that uh, one of the lights in one of the bedrooms was wired into the uh, electric socket instead of the light circuit, which is potentially lethal. You're not meant to be able to do that. Uh, we didn't do it. It appears to have been done by one of the previous owners of the house. And uh, we've had to sort that out. So it's just been day upon day of problems. And that's why I haven't been making videos. Because aside from uh, getting angry at the fact that we've got all these problems coming up, I haven't really done much. <laughs> and there's not much, been much to film. Jen's uh, film... Not film. Jen's TV show started last night. I saw I managed to take an hour out of work to watch that and I thought that actually that was pretty good. I just saw your very first episode of your TV show. Yeah, it's not too bad, was it? <laughs> I, I didn't come out as too much of a wally. That's always my biggest fear in these things. Well, I thought you did very, very well. Well, thank you. That's very, very kind of you. So, what did you think? Um, well, I know how it turns out. So... I don't know, what is there to think? I, I was quite pleased, actually. Um, 
I'm always worried about <laughs> how I'll come across. Uh, but it, it's, I really enjoyed it. And given that I know how it turns out, I was still riveted to it. Still enjoyed every minute of watching that. Cringed a bit when I saw myself on screen. But hopefully it's gone down really well. Everybody where I was loved every minute of it and can't wait for the next episode. And um, hopefully that's the, that, that's the reaction that we're, we're really wanting. Um, so I think a lot of people will watch it on catch up because the way people watch TV. So um, we just wait and see. Um, but I think generally it's gone down well. Yeah. I'm not a model railway person. I'm not really interested in model railways. And you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed that. And funnily enough, that's one of the comments that's coming back through uh, from a lot of people. They're saying that there was people there with them watching it who have no interest in model railways whatsoever. But they really got into the programme. And that's really what we want. And that, I think, was what was the intention from the outset, was having a programme that really appealed to the widest possible audience. You know, it didn't... It, it, it wasn't aimed to be about blokes in sheds building little tiny accurate models of a branch line terminus in 1962. Um, it was about making the hobby really accessible and fun um, and, you know, getting as many people interested as possible. And I think, you know, we managed to do that. So Oh, definitely. And so I'd just like to put out there a big, big thanks to all the people that love productions who um, let me be a part of this, you know, without them I couldn't have, have been anywhere on this and they, in their wisdom, I don't know why, what they saw in me, but they made me a team leader and I'm really, really thankful that they, uh, you know, that they believed in me enough to do that and, you know, it's a big, big thanks from me that uh, they let me be a part of this. Well done, Jen, I'm very proud of you. We've had so many emails and texts and things from family saying that we're so proud of her and we are it was very good i'm looking forward to the next episode i think she is too and aside from that that's it that's literally all we've got so aside from those clips from bits of the recordings of the various shows not much to say film hammer has started so that's the first of the new shows coming and uh, i'm very happy with that it looks pretty good i'm hoping for good things from that We've still got other ones to come, like the podcasts and uh, the Amstrad uh, magazine show and things like that. Oh, it's just going to be a very busy year. I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to getting through more. But uh, for the moment, that's all I've got. So I'll see you later. And I really must go now because it's getting late. See you later. Today's video is brought to you by my graphic novels, The Collected Life of Naughty Mouse, Volume 1, All Over the House, Volume 1, and All Over the House, Volume 2. Thank you.